Hey everyone, this is Nemo and in today's quick video we will see how PrestaShop lets us easily target specific pages with CSS or JavaScript with the minimum struggle. So the 1.6 template has introduced some new classes for the body object, which include the current items ID as well. And you can see it here with um, the category, which has category-8 as well as category dash dresses, which happens to be the category link rewrite. So to target a specific item, it's enough to use this syntax. So item type dash item ID, and it's easy to find it as uh, you can do as I do, so inspect the page with the developer console. Now, what can I do with this data? Well, for example, I can add a background for a specific category or anything else. So if I reach my global.css file, I can target category-8, which is the body ID, then page, uh, sorry, the, um, the body uh, class, then columns container, and I can use background red, for example, and we'll use important just in this case, important, okay, then I will refresh, and you can see my background turned red. But we can do the same with JavaScript as well. So if I open global.js, I can use a condition. So if the body object has class of category-8, then I will alert something. Cool. And if I reach another category, so t-shirts, you can see the page is still white and I get no alert. Cool. Lastly, if for any reason you need to add a specific class, you can modify the object's controller. And in this case, it's the category controller. So controllers front category controller and within the init content method, I can scroll down to body classes, which is a variable used in the uh, themes header TPL file. And you can see it has this PHP self, which is category dash, the category ID and the category link rewrite. This will be assigned, as I said, to header.tpl and used here, right? And if you happen to uh, have any issues with the left or right columns, have a look at this part as well. Anyway, this works with uh, plenty of objects. So categories, as we saw, products, manufacturers, suppliers, and CMS pages as well. Just uh, locate init content and scroll down to body classes to add your own in case you need it. Okay, this is everything for today's video. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time.